Okay, so hi guys, this is a quick video. I know it's a horrible lighting. Um, I had my surgery this morning. I'm in um, some pain. I sound horrible right now because my throat is kind of swollen and my nose is plugged. Um, my surgery was pretty horrible. Um, they maxed me out on my medicines because I they could not get me to knock me out. And it was going to end up being a real procedure. So they had to do full anesthesia and all that. So they were finally able to knock me out. Just in time to, you know, get a look and everything. And my hand, I'll show you my hand. My hand is wrapped up because the lady um, pulled out my IV like an idiot. Because she didn't have her stuff by her um, to do my IV. And then... Um, Afterwards, I had, a, I had an okay nurse after, oh no, and during my surgery, I started crying due to the medicines and the fact that I was freaking out because, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen, and um, the lady told me to quit being a baby about it, and I I was just irritated with her, I mean, I, wanted, I told them I wanted her out of the room, I didn't want her in there during my surgery, because I didn't want to go off on her, so she wasn't in there, and she wasn't allowed to be around me because I was weird. I was pissed off about it. And then, um, so, yeah, then I went to recovery. Um, and then I think, like, not even 30 minutes later, like, right after I got into recovery, I asked for my mom, and they kept saying, no, I couldn't see her, you know, I had to wait, and I was like, no, I need to see her, she's the only one who can calm me down, because I was tr um, crying uncontrollably, and my mom came in and calmed me down and stuff, and then, um, we, uh, and then, like, ten minutes later or so, um, I had to burp, because if you can't burp, you can't go home, because that means there's something stuck, and so I had to burp, and I burped right away, because obviously, you know, it's easy, especially if you can fake it, but it's easy, um, and then I asked them, you know, about eating and drinking, and they're like, oh yeah, you can go ahead, you know or whatever, but I won't get my results until, um, oh gosh, my hair, until next week, so, and, yeah, after the holidays, I will find out, um, for sure, if I do have the disease, or if there's something else that popped up, if not, it'll be another surgery, because the way he made it sound to my mom is that I may need another surgery, and that surgery will actually have to be, um, a stay in the hospital surgery due to the fact that I can't clot and the fact that the medicine doesn't work on me. Um, yeah, I had makeup on. Yes, I wore makeup to the hospital because um, I was a really cute guy there. <laughs> Even though I'm talking to somebody, so that guy won't matter. But, you know, I just felt like I would feel better. And then I thought I was maybe going to go to my cousin's house, but... The doctors told me, no, go home, go, go get some food and something to drink. So I went to Starbucks. You can see. And then my mom's getting me food because I can't walk yet because I'm still sedated. Um, <clears throat> I can't take any medicine for today. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it. So I will probably spend the rest of today sleeping like my doctor said because... I need to, um, sleep the medicine off. I, I'm not sick. I don't feel sick at all. But I just, like, I'm really emotional due to the, um, like, how much medicine they gave me. It made me really, really emotional. And then I woke up with a cut in the inside of my mouth. And I was so mad because I told the nurses that. And they go, I don't see nothing. There's nothing there. I think you're just imagining it. Blah, blah, blah. So I was pissed off about that. And I just had, like, there's three nurses in there that were horrible. My doctor's a good doctor. And then my mom, not my mom, my, one of my other nurses, she was really good and helped me and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for my food. Because I want Chinese food really bad. Because I'm super hungry. And, um, I'm not on a special diet right now after the holidays I'll find out whether to stay on fit or to be on a special diet or not but for now we're just gonna continue eating what you know 
I can eat for now, and then after that will be decided. So I just thought I'd let you guys know since I'm done with my surgery. And obviously, yes, I'm in a car. I don't know if I said that. I'm sorry if I am saying or repeating things, okay? But, um, so yeah, just a quick update, okay? Bye, guys!